Well, they'll be back at home on Saturday against Braintree. What are your thoughts? It's going to be a tough test. I've watched them, um, done a lot of homework on them. A new side to the level, so trying to get to grips with their personnel. Um, don't really know Bradley Quinton as a manager. I know he's done ever so well at Enfield and in his first job at Braintree was to get him promoted and he, he delivered on that. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. No, level, no game at this level is easy. Um, for me, it's about continuing the work that we've done. We know exactly what I'm asking for and how we're going to go about our business. A good session today, we've got a, a big session tomorrow in prep for Saturday. So, yeah, we're no fools. We know it's going to be a tough test. As you know yourself, it's very hard to adapt to this level when you do first come up. So there'll be a real fire within them to get that first win and kick on, won't they? Of course, yeah. I think they've drawn two, lost five, and every game they're in, though, you look at the result of Chesterfield 1 0, um, the game against Haven 4 3, the performance away at Barnet 1 0. So it's not threes and fours, they're not being hit for many de goal deficit, it's very much a close tie. Um, and yeah, he's getting to grips with the level. We didn't get to grips with the level until probably right at the back end, unfortunately, to pick up three wins on the bounce. So, look, I know that he's going to be positive. He's was speaking about bringing a couple in the building um, this week or this evening, in fact. So it'd be, it'd be interesting to see who he brings in and what personnel he has to his disposal. But look, it's 11 v 11 come Saturday. If we're not ready and we're not prepared and we, we feel that we've done enough in the Bank Holiday weekend, we're going to get probably not the rewards we want. If we go about our business like we should do and if we're prepared and we're organised and we have the mentality to go and put in another performance like we did up at Mainstone, then yeah, I, I believe we may have a positive result. As you mentioned in your programme though, we, and it's often the case at this level, you'd be welcoming back two players, but one of who came through the academy. Ricky Gabriel, yeah, obviously um, triplets. Um, I know his brother's doing ever so well at St Albans and Ricky's done fantastic in his non-league career. Um, it'd be nice to welcome him back, not seen him in a long time. Um, and also Josh Hill. Josh Hill played a massive part in us getting promoted. I know that he played towards the back end and Ben Martin sat in the, on the sub bench, but he delivered on his performances. So it'd be nice to welcome the pair back. Obviously, I prefer it at 5.15 with a victor, victors in terms of getting the three points and then they can go on their merry way. But yeah, until kick-off, I'll be welcoming them with open arms. What a difference a week can make in football, though, with two wins over the Bank Holiday weekend, and it just makes everything look a little bit more rosy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but we, we can't get ahead of ourselves. I've got to be honest, it's, we, was, we was in a losing position in both. You look at the Halifax game, we didn't deserve to lose a game of football against Halifax. Definitely didn't deserve to lose a game of football against Maidstone, but we could have quite easily lost both games and been sitting third or fourth from bottom. So... I'm not taking anything for granted, uh, never too high, never too low mentality in my head. And the boys know that. I've come in today, again, relentless, never ever take my foot off the gas. They give me their Sunday last week, which I was so pleased with because they applied themselves, come in double early on Sunday to go through the work of Maystone and we got our just rewards. And we've worked ever so hard again today. We'll work ever so hard again tomorrow. And for me, if they implement what's being asked of them and they can, play to the levels that they can get to, then yeah, I believe we can get a positive result. But we're not looking at the league just yet. No disrespect, there's seven games in. We've not achieved anything in a bank holiday weekend. We need to make sure that we can kick on and continue the work we're doing. Because I could lose on Saturday or we could lose on Saturday, losing on Tuesday evening and we're sitting 18th, 19th in the league. So for me, it's about working on what we've done and continuing the work we've done. And if we can go about our business as I believe we can on Saturday, we'll just add to the points how they come at the end of the season. With those four games in such quick succession and many more coming, is it important to utilise squad depth even at this early stage of the season? I think we've got another seven games in just over three weeks. So the National League are quite relentless with that. They go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday quite early. I accept that because of the weather and the cup runs and people have that to, to contend with. And for me, to have another seven games, I've got a bigger squad. I've had the biggest squad that I've got or had to my disposal um, since I've been manager. Um, I am looking to move a couple on and move a couple in. So for me, it's very much continuing what we're doing. And if you're given a shirt, make sure you keep it. Um, and if you get the opportunity to get a shirt, make sure you earn it.